In question number 13, we're given the whole function, and it's our job to make sure we state its degree and the location of its roots after we graph it. Since it's giving us x cubed, x plus 2, and x minus 3, that implies we have 1, 2, 3 roots. Each factor gives us a root. Since x is by itself, doesn't have any parentheses around it, we know that the first root must be at 0, which we write as 0, 0. This next one is x plus 2, which means we have a root at negative 2, negative 2 comma 0. And the last one, x minus 3, has a root at positive 3 comma 0. We're going to quickly plot those points. And now we're ready for graphing. As we look at our graph, we'll need to start on the right side, as always. Since this equation was positive at the very beginning, we're going to start on the above right side, so up top. As we draw our curve, we're going to approach each line in the order that it, I'm sorry, each dot as it appears on the number line, and we're just going to check back to the equation to see what to do at that dot. For example, if I head towards the first dot, which is at 3, the factor, x minus 3, didn't have any exponents on it, which implies we're going to go through that point. It doesn't really matter how far down you go through, we're just sketching it. That means we're going to have to take a turn and head up towards 0. Now, according to this equation, 0, which came from this factor, has a cube or a third power. That's what we call through slowly, which means we're going to approach the 0. We're going to sort of flatten out there for a second, and we're going to keep going through. Notice it looks really strange, and that's okay. It does go through briefly flat and up through again. Now, as we take a turn towards the very last dot, which is at negative 2, we can see from the factor that it doesn't have any powers, which means we're going to go through. Since there are no more dots to turn and hit, then we mean, or that means we're done. The last thing to do is check our degree. Now, degree can be somewhat tricky if the graph has these weird little through slowly points, but technically speaking, the degree is equal to the number of x's we have in our equation. Since we have 1, 2, 3 from here, 4, 5 total, our degree is 5. Other folks like to look at the picture to tell the degree, which you can do. It's a little bit challenging, but it does technically work. We started out heading down, that's 1 degree. Up, that's 2. Technically, at the third, we flattened out, then went up, then went down again. So 1, 2, flat is 3, 4, 5, and it matches up. The degree is 5.